Long now here at noon, all precincts are reporting, but it's still not exactly clear who is the GOP nominee for the governor of Kansas. Take a look here at these results. Chris Kobach topped sitting Governor Jeff Collier by just 191 votes. And these results are not even official yet, as thousands of provisional and mail-in ballots still need to be counted. Kobach, we understand, is about to hold a news conference. We understand that is expected here any minute now. In the meantime, let's turn to KCTV5's Caroline Sweeney. She is live there in Topeka with the latest on that race. Caroline. Yeah, Carolyn, that's right. We are here in Topeka waiting for Secretary Kobach to make a statement. We were expecting Governor Collier to talk this morning at 11 o'clock. His press office said, hey, the race is too close to call. We don't have anything to say at this moment. Like you said, there are 191 votes separating these two front runners. Hopefully we'll know by the end of the week a little bit better. Uh, idea of how far apart these two men are. That's because we are waiting on thousands of absentee provisional and mail-in ballots to be counted despite the fact that all precincts across the state were reporting. Now, we saw earlier this morning and throughout the night some of the trouble that Johnson County had giving their votes in. We were able to see the impact that just one county can have on the number of votes that come in per candidate. Now, one of the things that I've been hearing tossed around from both camps is the possibility of a recount. There is no automatic recount law in the state. So it's not like we're waiting for some threshold number to be hit before that process starts. We don't have enough data yet to say that's going to happen. We need to wait for all of those ballots to be counted. We'll have more live from Topeka coming up tonight on KCTV 5 News at 4, 5, and 6. But for now, live in Topeka, Caroline Sweeney, KCTV 5 News. All right, thank you, Caroline. And also a close race for the third congressional Democratic nomination. Sharice Davids topped Brent Welder, 37 to 34 percent. Welder just conceded, actually saying he is dedicated to doing everything he can to help Davids win now in November. She faces incumbent Kevin Yoder. Now, if she does win, Davids would be the first Native American congresswoman and the first gay representative from the state of Kansas.